and check my cones again they all look like they're building I may have to consider it I don't know do I want to conquer that plant because they have the population there they may not be happy with me but I could conquer them and they have something that they have these seeds that increase growth so honestly a size for the population is probably not really worth it is it they have food average production research it's honestly not really worth it I would think the population would be the only reason so we got another mole in the system there start getting everything together because I'm gonna push out and try my luck I might need to refuel actually my, expo my exploration frigate definitely needs to refuel that's for sure. Alright, wait for this one more cruiser. Oh, actually, I remember, I forgot. There's like this little icon down here. Ooh, and for idle colonies. I didn't actually know about that. That makes things a little bit easier for me. Shatma system, which is completely you know, uninhabited. So I don't care about them so much. Now onward to Lewis 2. Let's see the cucks put their money where their mouth is. So Riley has lost a mole. I'm happy with that. Oh. And Cruiser and I found my expiration frigate. So I'm not going to auto this. I'm going to try and get it out of there. Because it should be able to with the amount of distance. Yep, I can definitely go because the mass driver is not going to be anywhere near. Yeah, it's not going to get in range anytime soon. And there's two different Corvettes, apparently. Near them have shields. The Tyrant of Lewis. Gar the Garroter of Lewis. Huh, interesting. So. I wonder, is that their homeworld? Because they have two ships named after the plan I'm going to. If that is... It's not a Terran world. I thought that was barren. Let me check that again. Because I find that interesting how that naming process works. Speaking of naming, I should have to name my... I really should name the my capital ships that have been... Put getting me through all these fights. Anything that has high metals, because I should probably name, because they don't want to inconvenience with any of these fresh ships. But yeah, they have two ships named after that planet. Interesting. So that could very well be their homeworld. Potentials here are nice. Let's see if I can take it in that case. So Cordrasine lost the spies. Well, I am losing credit, so I need to be very careful. They have a, st a standard star base, two cruisers, and two corvettes. This is going to be easy. I don't know if I have the ground troops, though, to, to take the planet or not. That's the only thing. Because they could have a lot of ground troops. If this is as populated world as I think of it to be. So, that starbase is still a little bit of a threat. It's going to have mass drivers, a couple of rail guns, maybe, or gauze cannons. Yeah, I think I want to be careful of that fire. It's doing this slow motion so I can dodge those mass drivers to the best of my ability. I don't want it to take too much damage while everything else goes in. I think I'm. A, I think I will let the Corvettes take their some of those hits because it helps spread the fire there for the cruisers that are now in range. I just got to be careful of my cruiser's health because that one's taking a lot of damage, and that's also the one with the ammo cross. So. That should... I cannot have that die on me. 
So it's running out of shields quickly. I should have turned off the engine power. So there goes those two ships, and the star base is going to be an easy kill. I just don't want any permanent damage on this my core horn here, because it's got it's pretty much buffing everything right now. So that was an easy conquest on the orbital fleet. Now for the second half of the battle. Can I take the... I think it's their home world. It's not a Terran world though, that's the only thing. But that would be a great uh, way to... I wonder if I could trade their homeworld back to them to get massive amount of uh, tech. I'd probably be better to keep it. Wow, they have nothing there. I'm just gonna straight up capture it. And I just got the military antenna. Of course, safe to say... Yeah, they do not like us. So how do I deal with this approval? They're riotous, so I'm getting nothing out of them right now. So I think I want to put my ground troops on there. Maybe that will help stabilize things a bit. How the hell do I get the ground troops back on, onto the planet? Speaking of ground troops, oh, there was a bunch of their ground troops right there to defend against that. Oh, you're too slow. I'm so sorry. It is just not your day today there, cucks. Now, I want to land all these troops and I want to see if that actually helps with the... with the mood a little bit. Does not seem like it. And they also have a molo farm. So that gives them minus 10 approval, which is not helping my cause any. It is sustaining their economy at least, or their structure. They are just not giving me any production or value. And I have this ancient shipyard. What the hell is that? Orbiting this planet is an ancient shipyard. Ancient yet serviceable. serviceable. Maybe that's what that is. Let me check check that quickly. Yeah, obviously Lewis is not doing anything. He is. Okay, so that's my newest world that I just built. Get some production going. Battle stations on their way. So what the hell can I do with this world? Because it is costing me money right now. So if I can't get this thing going there, it's just going to hurt me more than help. Especially with all the riding. Let's find out what this shipyard does though. Eight, oh, it's just an ancient station. Let's see, it would, be, it would have been easy for your fleet to pass over what appears to be just another field of space junk. Of, but of course, no self-respecting sales bot will let you pass its place of business without snaring your ship in a powerful tractor beam and informing you via radio that the time for savings begins. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Goes to the door, I guess. Oh yeah, this is like some kind of merchant uh, base of some kind. I think I encountered this before. A sign on the op opposite wall reads, In your native tongue, Crazy Eddie's Technology ep Emporium. And you see a small alcove there littered with piles of ancient junk, broken relics, and tattered uh, blueprints. If this is like a market of some kind, yeah, it is I have no credits to even buy anything, let alone see if it's even useful. 
approach the robot which shouts in a sing-song fashion. Welcome to Crazy Eddie's Technologic Technology Emporium. I'm gonna stop it there. Save everyone the misery of having to listen to me go through that. <laughs> but it is a merchant of some kind. But is that the ancient shipyard? Or or was that the starbase I just shot down? Although, after that, I am content to think that was not their home world. I'm just trying to figure out what can I do about this ancient shipyard. It said. Okay, there we go. I got. I actually have that to help with my unhappiness, but I'm gonna have to buy it. Is the only problem that is expensive. Actually, let's see. Yeah, the the population mood might calm down after a while too. But otherwise, things are looking up there. I just gotta somehow get this boundary connected to my space, so I may have to grab this asteroid belt here. Get my fleet all set up appropriately. And then we can start planning our next move, I think. I can't wait. <laughs>